and welcome to this episode of H2O Global News Stream. Uh, I'm Abby Davey and here with me is Dave from water to go Hi Dave, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, um, thanks for having me on first of all. Um, I found a water to go uh, 12 years ago. Um, I was uh, had a career in the garment business and therefore was traveling a lot um into india china indonesia um and everywhere we went the the factories were so worried about the europeans coming and having not having access to clean water they used to give us bottled water and on one particular trip um, um i was out with a colleague and we were just checking out some factories and became aware that unlike the uk and unlike most of europe they don't have access to recycling so when they give you these bottles of water they literally just throw them away at the end and um one particular factory just gave me a bit of a shock so um water to go came along as an idea to try and stop uh, the pollution caused by single use plastic water bottles and that's now not even towards 13 years ago now wow and I'm lucky enough that you've sent me one here. Yes, 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 yeah. One I love of the it. first people to get one in the UK, yeah. Absolutely. Um, you kind of touched upon this in your in your introduction, but I would love to really understand your main objective. We know why you started the company, but but what is the company's core values and its main objectives? Okay. Well, the main objective was born because of the reason we started the business. Um, we started the business basically because we saw so much um, pollution with um, single-use water bottles. And um, because we were conscious that it was not only the bottle that was causing the problem, but people's lack of understanding of the consequence. I mean, basically the factories are doing what was a lovely job. They're taking care of their clients, but they weren't aware of the consequences. So we, we came up with the idea of a reusable, refillable water bottle and to make sure that people were safe when they're traveling, um, uh, developed a filter. And our filters are nanotechnology filters. Um, and we, we developed the filter so that we could offer travelers and people um, abroad uh, access to clean, safe drinking water. And that then became the raison d'etre of the business, really, because what we want to try and do is establish the business with a commercially um, strong foundation in the developed world, because ultimately filters like ours should be available to everyone, specifically in the developing world, where yeah. there, there isn't access to clean water. And when we take it, as, you know, it's not a problem. But some, as you've seen on TV adverts and whatever, in the developing world, there isn't the access to clean water we've got. So the plan would be, we build the business up, we get to critical mass. Critical mass will basically mean we're making millions of filters. Our unit price drops through the floor, and then we can get that technology out to people who actually need it for a question of day-to-day -day survival rather than safe drinking water on, on a trip or if you're going to the gym or whatever. So so the, the, basically the, the whole premise now is to build the business up and get this technology out to the developing world where we believe it can save lives. Absolutely. And of course, there are plenty of refillable bottles on the market. You can yeah. hit on, go on the internet, buy one yeah. now. Yeah. There's a few things which makes this special. And you, you first talked about this piece of kit here. Yeah, um, yeah. Perhaps we can start with this. What what did you do? What what is it? Okay. Well basically if you think of our filters a little bit like a smartphone, in the last ten years, phone technology's moved on fantastically. In the old days with the old Nokias, you can make a call and that that did the, the old Nokias did the job fairly well. Then all the new technology came through. So now with your standard smartphone, you, you can access the internet, you can take video, take photographs. All those technologies have come 
and have been encapsulated in one unit. Yeah. We've done a similar type of thing in filtration. So in our filters, we combine three different types of technology. We take uh, the original technology of activated carbon. Activated carbon has been used on the, on the, in the Orient for thousands of years to improve the taste and smell of water. And we then couple that with two nanotechnologies. So they create a very small pore size, which automatically in mechanical filtration, think of the um, filter like a fishing net, the smaller the holes, the more you catch. It's exactly the same with filters. So with mechanical filtration, a small pore size, we can already take out bacteria and larger protozoa and cysts. We then put in a second nanotechnology, which creates a, um, an electrostatic charge in the water and attracts and traps other elements. So combining those three means not only can we take out bacteria, protozoa and cysts, but our filters are good out to filter 99.98% uh, of viruses as well. Yeah. And they will take out things like heavy metals, lead, iron, and even some vastly reduced things like uh, raw uh, natural occurring arsenic out of, the, out of the water, cadmium. So it's a really, really good filter. They're internationally tested. Um, it's not just me um, saying that they're good. Um, we are tested in the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, yep. UTH in India, IMI in Shanghai, and BCS in Florida, where we actually reconducted tests just last spring. Um, and they show that we take out up to 99.9999% of microbiological contaminants. Wow. So it's a great bit of kit, but it's a reflection probably on the work we've done to mirror the same type of work that's happened in phone technology. And, and we constantly are looking to upgrade even further. So, Well, it's really <laughs> life-saving stuff. Yes. Well, that's that's why we want to get the tech. Yeah. That's why we want to get the technology out to the developing world. And the nice thing is, that's the only part of our bottles you ever need to replace. Yep. Three pieces of plastic on the outer casing go into plastic um, domestic supply, so you can recycle them domestically. And the membrane goes on the on the compost heap and will biodegrade. That's and you nice. simply replace that filter cartridge screw it into the, into the lid, let it soak for 15 minutes to activate the technology, and you're good to go. And how long do you replace it? Um, one of those filters will filter 200 litres of water. Nice. So it's not so much the time, it's more the amount of uh, litres flowing through the filter. Um, so if you're drinking two litres of water a day, which the World Health Organization organization says we ought mm -hmm. one of those filters would last you for three months um but if you're drinking one liter six months and the maths are fairly straightforward this isn't your first version though is it no 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 i mean in fact we we've developed quite a lot of bottles over the last few years um we were very keen to get something which was reusable refillable and recyclable yep all of the bottles we've used and manufacture are actually um, BPA free. They are all made out of FDA approved, uh, it's a Food and Drug Administration in the States, um, that for use or uh, repeat use on food and beverages. So there's nothing in the materials we use can either pass onto your hands through the pores or come into the water. So they're all certified. But the latest one that you're holding up there... Which is, this is the exciting bit, guys. This, this is, is the exciting this is bit. This in my mind. Right. This... Uh, these it bottles, away a little bit. Yeah, these bottles are actually made completely out of sugar cane. It's just so it's a brand, brand new material. Right. Yeah. Anyone watching anything to do with supermarkets and um, packaging in supermarkets will have heard over the last four or five years that there's been a lot of moves away from the trays for vegetables and fruits being sort of expanded polystyrene and a lot of them now and being made out of material called bagasse and bagasse is the 
crushed canes, which are left over when you've extracted the sugar from sugar cane. But over the last few years, there's been development because obviously the sugar, which is left in the cane, once you've extracted the main volume of sugar, can ferment. And if it ferments, that can um, create a green ethanol. It's completely plant-based. And there are two additional processes which take the water out of the ethanol, which then gives you ethylene, and we can make a plastic completely out of plants. So it's very, very cutting edge uh, technology, much the same as when we started on the filters. And the nice thing is, uh, even when you've taken the ethanol out, you can still get an extra use for the bagasse, those crushed uh, uh, canes. What you do, you dry them, put them into bricks, compact them into bricks. And they actually are then used as the fuel which drives the next two processes. So we're not using any fossil fuel. It's just the big ass as the creator for the green um, ethanol. And then using those, that again, same material, which is a waste product of sugar production, then to fuel the factories. And the nice thing is right at the very, very end, and this is a bit you like, we take the ash that were from the burnt bricks we add water back to that, and that's used as a fertilizer going back onto the ground to grow the next lot of sugar cane. So it's a really, yeah, it's a, it's a full circle. Um, it's a really nice process. And what's great for me is that we've actually found a partner um, to make these bottles in the UK. So we're also cutting our carbon footprint down by manufacturing the bottles in the greater London area, which is nice. I love that. Well, I I was just very fascinated because, of course, the world has to change. Yeah. Uh, as far as it comes to the amount of plastic which is being used, but the the ability for you to to provide a recyclable and a product which helps with health as well, it was definitely um, it definitely caught my attention. I'm so pleased that we've been able to speak. Um, I think everybody probably by now is asking, how do I get hold of one of these? All right. Okay. Well, the, 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 it's very easy. Um, Watertogo.org um, is our global website. Um, yep. So it's, we're global H2O as well. Um, so we basically, we you can get the bottles off our website. Um, all of the bottles, all the sugar cane bottles are dishwasher uh, safe as well. People always think that sugar cane is going to have some um, flaws and weaknesses not 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 at all and the other nice thing which i didn't mention is that we do a lot of work with charities and corporates travel companies and events as well and just to show you another one of our bottles all of our bottles can be customized this is a, um, a european holiday company better places uh, the sugar cane bottles can be customized and we, and we partner with um, people who are looking to endorse their sustainability and, you know, obviously the whole um, corporate responsibility side is very, very prevalent at the moment, spe specifically and not only, but specifically in, in the water industries. Yeah. And I think that's a great way of the partnership of us being able to build our business, eventually get this technology out to, to, the, um, to the developing world, but partnering with people who can help us do that uh, quicker as well. That's a, that's a major, major thing for us. Yeah, and I think that's something which, that's a lovely way to end the call, I think. People reach out, especially to get this technology into those countries which really need it. Um, but before I close off, is there anything else you would like to add? No, no, no. I mean, the, 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 key, the key thing for us is, you know, 13 years in, we're still um, building. Uh, we are growing more globally. Just before the pandemic, we, lost, we launched in the States and Canada, Australia and New Zealand. Now, they are relatively new markets. Um, but you know, if anybody's interested, we have got distribution, um, you know, in 50 odd countries now. So, um, you know, not only through the UK, um, but through Europe, 
Um, so we'd be delighted to talk to people and see how we can help them, help us just basically cut down on single-use plastic and get this technology into the developing world. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me. And, and, and thank, and thank you, you for the for, opportunity. Thank you for dedicating your time to something so worthwhile. And together, let's let's push this forward and get it into get it to the countries and into the hands of those that really, really need it. That's, that's that what we get to this in the morning. That would be great. Well, thank you so much. Anybody watching, please reach out to Dave at watertogo.org. Um, we'll put the details below. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.